Welcome back to Bridgeview. The final two pieces of structural work have been completed on Tillicum Crossing Bridge, and that's the topping off of the towers and the mid-span closure. And those will be the topics for our last two episodes of Bridgeview. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about the process for topping off the towers. And we have John Sapella, superintendent with Keywood Infrastructure West, joining us today to help us understand the process. Hey, John. Hi, Deanne. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are Good. you? Good. So for months and months, we saw the large temporary tower caps on top of our towers while we were installing the permanent cables. And once those permanent cables were complete, we were able to remove those temporary tower caps and then actually finish off the towers. So can you tell us a little bit about that, that final piece? What are the sizes of that final piece on the tower and how much concrete is involved? Sure. Well, there's uh, 16 cubic yards per top um, on each side. Um, on the short side, it's five feet tall, and then on the long side, it's 12 feet tall. All right, and so the concrete, how did you get it up 180 feet in the air? Yeah, access was a problem. What we actually did was we hooked up a bucket to the tower crane, Okay. Um, loaded up the bucket from the trestle, and then flew it up and placed it up top. Okay, and I imagine um, access for your crew was also an issue. Uh, can you talk a little bit about your methods to make sure that people could get up to the top of the tower safely? Well, after we pulled the stair tower and the platforms up top um, to dry finish and finish out the tots, we actually had to use a man basket. So it's hooked up to the tower crane. Um, everyone that uses it is uh, certified and trained, and the man basket itself is load tested and inspected daily. Excellent. Thanks so much for your time today. I appreciate no it. No problem. Yep. Thanks and a lot. That, that's all the time we have today for Bridgeview. So we'll see you next time.